Hi, I'm Dave Karger. Thanks for joining me tonight on TCM. Every Monday in June, we're spotlighting the work of some of the greatest and most influential composers in film history. Our first composer definitely deserves a place on that list, the legendary Ennio Morricone. Born in Rome, where he lived and worked his entire life, Morricone learned from his father, a trumpet player, how to read music and play instruments, and he began composing when he was just six years old. After spending years writing and arranging music for radio, television, theater, and pop artists, he entered the film industry and had his first credited original score in 1961. By the end of the decade, he was an international star, thanks to the groundbreaking compositions he wrote for the Spaghetti Westerns, directed by Sergio Leone, that made Clint Eastwood famous. A fistful of dollars for a few dollars more, and the good, the bad, and the ugly. Morricone's film career continued steadily for the next six decades, and he finally won an Oscar for one of his last scores for Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. Incredibly, that was Morricone's only competitive Oscar win, but he was nominated five other times, including for the film that's up next. From 1986, it's The Mission. Set in the 18th century, the film stars Jeremy Irons and Robert De Niro and follows the efforts of a Jesuit priest, played by Irons, to convert an indigenous community in South America. For the score, Morricone chose to use native panpipe music and European instruments as a way to highlight the cultural conflicts. And the theme he wrote for the film, titled Gabriel's Oboe, is considered one of his best compositions. From 1986, directed by Roland Joffe and written by Robert Bolt, here is The Mission. Ennio Morricone's score for The Mission earned him an Oscar nomination and won the Golden Globe for Best Original Score. Over the course of his career, Ennio Morricone earned six Oscar nominations for films that are a testament to the range of his talent, including Days of Heaven, The Untouchables, and Bugsy. But the work that made him world famous was his blend of music and sound effects for Sergio Leone's Spaghetti Westerns in the 1960s. His score for The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly is one of the most recognizable and influential soundtracks of all time. Morricone contributed to the scores of hundreds of films, as well as television films and series, concert pieces, and pop songs, and he earned an honorary Academy Award in 2007. But he was always very modest about his accomplishments, and in one interview he said, The notion that I am a composer who writes a lot of things is true on one hand and not true on the other hand. Maybe my time is better organized than many other people's, but compared to classical composers like Bach, Frescobaldi, Palestrina, or Mozart, I would define myself as unemployed. Next on TCM, out of Africa, then Johnny Belinda, and later, Max Steiner, maestro of movie music. It's music to the max on TCM Tonight.